Science 4, Quarter 3, Week 2, Milk Base. Let's learn about Effects of Force on Objects. Hello kids, it's me, Teacher Frel. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share, and hit the notification bell for the latest video. You can also follow my Facebook page, Teacher Frel TV. Welcome back kids! For today's lesson in Science 4, we will discuss about the effects of force on objects. At the end of this lesson, you are expected to Understand that force can change the shape, size, and movement of an object. Force is either a push or pull on an object. It occurs when two or more objects interact with each other. For instance, when you stretch a rubber band, you apply a pulling force. When you press a sponge, you exert a pushing force. Force can also change the shape, size, or movement of an object. The shape of an object may change when force is applied on it. Pushing, pounding, compressing, bending, Twisting, stretching, or squeezing are some ways of changing the shape of an object. And now for our first activity, let us do learning task 1. Effects of force on the size and shape of an object. Prepare the materials listed below. You may replace this with other materials available at home. In the first column, we have object or material, for example, modeling clay. In the second column, you have to answer this question, what I did to change the shape of the material. For example, the answer is, I press the clay. And in the third column, answer this question, what changes took place after I applied force on the material? The answer is, the clay was flattened. And now, for number one, the object or material is a sponge. What I did to change the shape of the material? I squeezed the sponge. And what changes took place after I applied force on the material? The sponge becomes thinner. Number two, the object or material that we are going to use is the biscuit. What I did to change the shape of the material is I crushed the biscuit. And what changes took place after I applied force on the material? The biscuit breaks into smaller pieces. Number 3. Piece of paper. What I did to change the shape of the material? I crumpled the piece of paper. And what changes took place after I applied force on the material? The piece of paper was formed into a tiny circle. Number 4. Eggshell. What I did to change the shape of the material? I pounded the eggshell. And what changes took place after I applied force on the material? The eggshell was cracked into smaller pieces. And number 5. The object is a plastic cup. What I did to change the shape of the material? I compressed the plastic cup. And what changes took place after I applied force on the material? The plastic cup was flattened. And now, answer the following questions based on the activity that you did. Number 1. What are the ways you did to change the shape of the objects? Refer to your answer in column B. The ways that I did to change the shapes of the objects are squeezing, crashing, crumpling, pounding, and compressing. Second question, what do you think will happen to an object 
if you will apply the following forces pound, bend, stretch, crumple, press. If the object is pounded, it will crush into smaller pieces. If the object is bent, it will change its size and shape. If the object is stretched, it will become longer. If the object is crumpled, it will turn into a rounded shape. And if the object is pressed, it will flatten. For the third question, what do you think can force do to an object? Yes, force can change the shape, size, or movement of an object. And now, let's move to learning task 2. Effects of force on the size and shape of an object. Prepare the materials listed below. You may use other materials at home if the materials listed are not available. Any round object like ball or marble or a toy car if you have. In the first column, write the trial number. In the second column, write the type of force applied. And in the third column, write the distance covered. Based on the activity that we have did, the type of force applied in trial number 1 is the weakest force. The distance covered is 12 inches. In trial number 2, the type of force applied is the medium force and the distance covered is 23 inches. And trial number 3, the type of force applied is the strongest force and the distance covered is 40 inches. And now answer the following questions. Number 1. How do you compare the distance traveled by the round object when pushed by the weakest force and when pushed by the strongest force. The distance between the weakest force and strongest force has 28 inches difference. Number 2. Which degree of force applied made the round object traveled farthest and the nearest? The strongest force made the round object traveled farthest while the weakest force made it travel nearest. And number three, what affected the distance traveled by the ball? The force that applied affected the distance traveled by the round object. For learning task three, put a circle if the picture shows pushing of an object and put a square if it is shows pulling of an object. Number 1. What do you think the people do in the picture? Are they pushing or pulling the object? Very good! They are pulling the object. Square. Number 2. What do you think the woman do in the picture? Is she pushing or pulling the object? Very good! The correct answer is... Pushing. Circle. Number three. What do you think the man do in the picture? Is he pushing or pulling the object? Very good. The correct answer is... Pulling. Number four. What do you think the caregiver do in the picture? Is she pushing or pulling the wheelchair? Very good. The correct answer is pushing. Circle. And number five, what do you think the man do in the picture? Is he pushing or pulling the objects? Very good. The correct answer is pushing. Circle. And for the last activity, learning task four, 
what kind of force is applied in each activity, right push or pull on the space provided. Number 1. Throwing a ball. Is it push or pull? Very good! The answer is push. Number 2. Cutting paper. Is it push or pull? Very good! The correct answer is push. Number 3. Clapping. Is it push or pull? Very good! The answer is push. Number 4. Turning a pages of a book. Is it push or pull? Very good! It applied pull. And number 5. Tacking a paper on a board. Is it push or pull? Very good! It applied push. Remember, force is either a push or pull on an object. It occurs when two or more objects interact with each other. Force can also change the shape, size, or movement of an object. So kids, do you understand our lesson today? Wow! Good job! Kids, I hope you learn a lot from this lesson. Until our next topic, bye-bye kids! Thanks for watching!